Hello, let us uh, understand uh, Fourier series and its transforms. Basically, Fourier transforms are used for changing from one domain to the other domain, that is uh, from time domain to frequency domain. So, if a signal is given as x of t, and if you want to take the Fourier transform of this, you write it as x of omega is equal to integral of minus infinity to plus infinity of the given signal e power minus j omega d dt. Okay. So now, for this particular uh, signal, let us consider an exponential uh, Fourier series. So when you consider an exponential Fourier series, you write it as f of t summation minus infinity to plus infinity cn e power j 2n by f naught t that means this is omega omega is 2 pi and n refers to this signal where cn is given by f of t e power minus j n 2 pi f naught dt so for example if you are taking it for uh, let us say that you are doing it uh, for an exponential signal e power minus t by 2 so as t increases what's happening is that it is an exponential signal so it's falling down to zero as t approaches this so t can be written as pi which is 2 pi f naught 2 pi by t and in this case 2 pi the t is t by 2 is 5 so it's just equal to 2 so now if you integrate this f of t summation of this you integrate within the limits f of t power minus j omega t and f of t is minus t by 2 so this is t plus this function and integral of this will be 1 half plus j to n into this and when you substitute these values the value comes out to be 0 0.504 by 1 plus 4 j 4 n. So, f of t therefore can be written as sigma summation minus infinity to plus infinity 1 plus j 4 n e power 2 j n t. Similarly, if you take uh, the example of uh, another uh, rectangular pulse, it is an exponential Fourier series. It is like a pulse, rectangular pulse. Uh, it's the value is, the time period is given to be t by 2. So once you define f of t as cn e power jn 2n pi f naught t okay, and integrate this c naught will be given by 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t dt when you integrate this for this given function it comes out to be half and cn integral of this e power minus j 2 pi n f naught from minus t by 4 to plus t by 4, integrate this, apply the limits and substitute these, this is what you are getting. So 1 by n pi sin n pi by 2. Now what is it, for different values of n, you get different c values, c1, c2, c3, c4 and so on. And as n is increasing, this value of this coefficient is decreasing. That means to say the amplitude, as you can see it is plotted here. the dn values for different values of n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, 3, 5 and so on. For odd values you get the amplitude, for even it is 0. You can see that the amplitude is continuously decreasing, falling to 0 as time t tends to infinity. This is known as the spectral uh, representation of this Fourier transform. Similarly, if you take a rectangular function, to define the rectangular function, let us represent it as pi, which is equal to 1 when mod x is less than or equal to 1 half and it is 0 0.5 when it is exactly half and if it is greater than half, it is 0. So what is happening when it is less than half, that means it is 1, it is half the value when it is equal to when it is 1 by 2, when it is greater than 1 by 2, it is 0. This is how you are getting. This is a unit height and unit width. And when you transform this, you will see how it comes. 
and if it is reduced by an amount equal to tau or a time period t by 2, this will be replaced with minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 with the half, with its uh, width reduced to one half. Similarly, this is a unit triangular waveform. It is given by 1 minus 2x for mod x less than half and it is 0 for mod x greater than half. And this is if it is divided by 2. These are all a few functions whose Fourier transform is very important in communication systems. These are familiar and popular ones. So let us just try to understand them and then later on we will see how to take the Fourier transform of this. So this is known as sin c or sinc function sine over argument it means and it is defined as sinc x is equal to sin x by x. So what are the properties? What is this basically? It is an even function and it is 0 for all values of t for which t is equal to plus or minus pi to plus 2 pi plus b pi and so on except that x is equal to 0 where it tends to infinity. It is 1 by 0 therefore it tends to infinity. By using this hospital's rule limit sin x by x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. So what is this hospital's rule? You take the derivative of this cos x by 1 and cos x as x tends to 0 is 1 therefore it is 1 and basically it is a product you can treat this function sin x by x as sin x into 1 by x sin x means it is an oscillating signal and 1 by x is a monotonically decreasing function so it is a product of sinusoidal oscillations of pi 2 pi with an amplitude decreasing continuously as 1 by x and it is also an even oscillating function with a decreasing amplitude as we have already seen. And it has a unit peak at x is equal to 0 and 0 crossing at n pi. What is meant by 0 crossing? At all integral values of n pi, sine of n pi is 0, therefore it touches 0. This is what it means. So this is how you represent this function. As x tends, starts from a maximum value for all pi 2 pi 3 pi it is 0 minus pi this is 0 in between pi by 2 1 3 pi by 2 plus 1 minus 1 this is how it is coming so suppose you take it as uh, this as 3 omega by 7 mm, sin omega t so at 7 pi by 3 7 pi by 3 so 7 7 gets cancelled 3 3 gets cancelled it becomes sin pi which is 0 sin 14 pi 13, in 14 pi means again uh, omega is this so substitute 14 pi by 3 7 2 3 so it becomes 2 pi this is 0 so when you do this this is what you are getting and for your transform of this function which function are we taking f of t suppose it is in the form of f t by tau and when you take the Fourier transform what is the Fourier transform of this in terms of uh, frequency the free in terms of frequency this is in terms of frequency this is in terms of time so this is the given function multiply it with e power minus j omega t which is 2 by f t and apply the limits from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 and when you integrate this is what you are getting and that is equal to 1 by 2 pi f that is t sin pi f t by sin pi f t this is in the form of sin x by x where x is your pi f t. So you write it as sin c or sin over argument type of a function and we have already seen that it comes out to be something like this. So sin, this is 0 for all values of n pi. Therefore 2 pi f t by 2 plus or minus n pi and f is equal to n by t, n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and this is how the information is transferred and this is a Fourier transform. So if you consider a step function once again delta function when you integrate this it becomes 1. So when you take the Fourier transformer you get it as a step when you inverse transform you will get it as delta. This is what it means uh, inverse transformation will be this. So in the case of uh, f of omega we wrote it as minus j. If you want f of t it will be plus j that is the only difference that we are getting most popular thing is uh, cos when you take cos spectrum of cos contains two impulses f naught and minus f naught with half amplitude 
and this is in the frequency domain and this is in the time domain. So if you consider this its Fourier series of this exponential signal can be given by e power minus b t u t minus j omega t this is minus b plus this so integral of this is this apply the limits then what you are getting is if b is less than 0 it does not exist x of t is u t for b is equal to 0 and for b greater than 0 x of omega that means uh, for your transform is 1 plus 1 by b plus j omega and its uh, amplitude is 1 by b square plus omega square which is known as amplitude spectrum and this is in the form of cos theta plus j sin theta so tan will be omega by b so the angular the phase angle will be tan inverse of omega b then as we have seen uh, the sin x by x similar to this is in this form so when you take uh, this rectangular pulse apply the limits this is how the waveform is going to be the inverse transform will be given by x of t which is equal to this and x of t the time domain to frequency frequency to this so you see if you are given frequency if you are converting it into time you are multiplying the given function by e power j omega t instead if x t has to be substituted here and if you want to get x of omega that means converting from time to frequency multiply this entire fun the given function with e power minus j omega t so that's the only difference that we will be getting so this is how we will see uh, how the Fourier transforms are taking